My legion of leasers, my army of apartment maniacs. How you guys doing? You guys doing good? Good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. What can I get you information on? You see how that flows? I need a one bedroom, one bath. One bedroom with a, with a spacious with a spacious view. With a spacious view? Yes, sir. Can you kind of give me when you say a spacious view, can you give me a specific example of what you're looking for? Yes, I want to overlook the mountains. Overlook the mountains. Love it. Love it. What research have you done on us? Well, I uh, went on the internet. I love the way your uh, website is. You guys are near the uh, the, uh, the Mission Peak. Mm -hmm. and I want to look uh, upon that direction if you have availability. Yeah, yeah. What else, Besides the view, what else is important to you in that? Uh, peace and quiet, uh, preferably enough unit. Got it. When you say peace and quiet, what's going on right now? Um, a lot of noise from children. Okay. W what's your biggest... I just want to... Go ahead. And I would like uh, closets because I have like 300 shoes. So I need, I need shoes. I need closets for my shoes. <laughs> and then... With that peace of quiet, I want to be away. I need a one bedroom, one bath, and I need it away from the two bedroom, if that would be possible. You, I, I didn't hear you clearly on that. You said you wanted to get away from a two bedroom, or you wanted to get a two bedroom. I want to get away from where the two bedrooms are located. So I want to. Um, Why is that? One, uh, one bedroom away from the two bedroom apartment nearby yeah why is that I'm sorry to hear you why is that why do you want to get away from where the two bedrooms are located well that's because mostly children are on the two bedrooms the more, there's more families there mm-hmm mm -hmm. it seems like it sounds like you want to get away from the noise more than anything yes sir got it got it what's your when you think of it, what's your biggest reason for moving? Uh, basically the noise and closet space. I need large closet for my shoes. Got it. Both. And we want that view of Mission Peak, correct? Correct, yes. Okay. Because of the fact that you said you, you, you want that view, we've got to be in a, a more peaceful situation than you're at right now. It sounds like seems like feels like where you're living at right now is kind of a complete disaster in terms of chaos and noise and you need that extra space i've got i think i might have the perfect apartment to show you are you against coming by today and taking a look absolutely i could set something uh we could set um for 1 30 that'll be okay with you yeah one one thirty. yeah i'm back to back to back on tours today we're completely slammed everybody wants to live here uh, i'm gonna make 130 work if for some reason okay. i'm running late or i'm backed up which i won't be but if i am we're only talking a couple minutes what's the best number for me to call or text you just to let you know i'm running a couple minutes late so you're not you know killing yourself trying to get here right at 130. absolutely 510-657-1171 Perfect. And along those same lines, if you're running late, which is perfectly okay, again, everybody wants to live here. We're back to back to back on tours. But if you're running late, would you mind just giving me a call, 303-803-7372, just to let me know you're running late so I'm not kind of pushing that other person in front of you out the door as they're, as they're signing your lease? Absolutely. Awesome. Perfect. So may, um, may I get um, your name and the address? Yeah. My name's Matt. The address is 145 Adams Street. I'll text you over directions to your 1171 phone number. And okay. then what other information should I have ready for you when you get here? Uh, by the way, my name is Maria. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, 
when I get there, can you just show me um, basically um, I just the information I put, uh, what in garbage is paid, uh, the rent amount. For sure, for sure. And then, and then the, of course, the location. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to see first when you get here? I want to see the location. When you say location, can you give me a specific example? Is the apartment available? Is it vacant to show? Or I'm going to show me a model first and then take me to the location? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you mean the location of the apartment within the community? Correct. Why do you want to see that first? Because uh, that's very important to me, location. Yeah, when you say important, I know you had mentioned the view and the noise. Is there anything else that maybe I missed on the location that's important to you? No, that's just basically the location of the one bedroom. Perfect. I have to be facing that out. Um, that Absolutely, we, we'll, we'll go through the location first and then what other information should I have ready for you when you get here? Uh, basically, just uh, the pricing, which um, I, uh, I'm open to the pricing. Awesome. And, yeah. Look forward to seeing you at 1.30. Again, if you're running late, give me a buzz, 303-803-7372 if I'm running late. I'm going to call or text you on your 1171 number, and I look forward to seeing you at 1.30. Okay, Matt. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, absolutely. It was a pleasure talking to you too, Maria. Now, what did I, who did most of the talking there? Uh, you did, Matt. I didn't. Oh, did I? I thought it was probably 50, 40, 50. I think it was more... 70 30. You did about 70 percent of the talking and I did about 30 and I can prove it right now. What do you know about what do I know about you? I know you're not happy where you're at right now. I know there's a lot of noise. I know a lot of kids running around more importantly with a lot of parents that maybe need to give the kid a little smack upside the head if you can still do that which I don't think you can. I'm not want to get anybody in trouble. However, it sounds like you're living in complete chaos. It sounds like you probably haven't had a good night's sleep in a long time, and it sounds like you don't like the view and you don't feel like you really belong where you're at right now. You want that mountain view of Mission Peak. You want to be able to have bigger closet space. Maybe even we look at, and I know you were against a two bedroom, but maybe we look at a two bedroom where you could use that second bedroom as storage, but on a more peaceful, more professional, side of the community there, right? Mm -hmm. You don't know anything right. about me or how, what I love about the community. Did I tell you anything about what I love about our community? Nope. Did I no. pitch you anyways? Hey, we've got this feature, we've got that feature. Don't need to, right? You let me know what your current situation was and that you're in pain, that you need to change it. That's all we need to figure out as property managers. What's that person's biggest reason for moving? Why? What do they want to see first when they get there? Why? Right? When you can understand the what and the why, it's much easier to tour the community. Now I can say, hey, Maria, because of the fact that you told me you want to be on a quiet side of the community, I've got, I've got a floor plan that doesn't typically come available very often it's on a corner unit. So you're not, your bedroom, you're not even gonna have any neighbors touching your unit. It's a larger one bedroom and the, and the closet is amazing. Are you opposed to taking a look at that one first? Right, no, cool, let's roll. Right, boom, here it is, here's the closet. Do you hear that by the way, Maria, do you hear that? Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> right? What, what, what people love about this side of the community, what people love about living here in general, is it's, it's, a, it's a very peaceful community, right? You can feel the vibe. Let's step out on the balcony. There's Mission Peak, right? Oh my gosh, I love it. Does it make sense to sign the lease? Right, then now we can, yeah. instead of going, here's our fitness center, you don't care about the fitness center. Right? Here's our rooftop saltwater dog wash. You don't have a dog. You want peace and quiet. You want to drink your espresso or cappuccino or iced tea or whatever, margarita. I don't judge. 
uh, and you want to look at Mission Peak and you're tired of kids coming and banging on your door and running away because they think it's funny, right? Like once you understand what's going on in that person's life, you're going to be exponentially more likely to sign them a lease. Unfortunately, if you call the competition, they're just going to talk, 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 talk about them, 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 them. Then they're going to talk about their specials, their availability. Did I even click away at my keyboard and check availability? No. I have till one. <laughs> I have till one thirty to figure that out. Guess what? Mm -hmm. My availability ain't going to change. It's my understanding of you and my my ability to communicate with you and my ability to articulate with you is what's going to get me the lease. If just having availability got us the lease, all of us would get fired because they could go on apartments.com. They could go on the website. It's our job to figure out what's most important to that person and let them know as close to ideal as we can get them. As close to ideal as we can get them. For example, you had mentioned I want to be away from the two bedrooms. That's probably not going to happen. All right, because every right. there's no apartment community built like a prison where it's like this is D block. It's all one one rooms, right? Then we got C block right. over there, right? Unless you want to murder somebody and spend the rest of your life in solitary confinement, I can't give you typically a unit that's in its own isolated thing with a one bedroom. I don't think you'd want that either, right? Because there's a whole host of other problems when it's just a one bedroom i.e. some 20 year old kid that's a DJ dumch, 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 and he likes to have an after party in his one bedroom, right? What you wanted to get away from was noise. What the competition is never going to figure out, they're going to go, okay, one bedroom, let me find something that's close to other one bedrooms, right? And they're never going to have the opportunity to go, you hear that? Yeah, me neither. Right. Me neither. That's how it is all the time here. Does it make sense to sign the lease, right? Great, great little role play there. Just make sure you guys are focusing on your questions. It's not about telling the person how much you know about your community. They don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. The best way to show them that you care is to actually care and ask them, what do you want to see first when you get here? Right? Notice you gave me noise, this, view. I didn't assume that was your biggest reason for moving. I still asked you, right? What's your biggest reason for moving? And I allow you to say it again, noise. It's amazing. The way people rent apartments has changed. Today's renter has access to more information. Today's renter has more choices. The apartment industry needs you. Studies have shown that moving is the most stressful life event. The old sales training, well, it just doesn't work today. I'd like to teach you how to take the stress out of leasing apartments in a way that's meaningful to you and your renters and get you seven times more leases. I'll show you how the perfect leasing process works. I'm gonna walk you through everything from answering the phone to closing the lease. I'm gonna show you how to determine your prospect's wants and their needs so that you can build value in your apartments. You will learn how to handle any objection or complaint. I'm gonna show you how to connect with your renter so it's easy for them to rent with you. I've taught the best property management companies and thousands of people just like you how to lease apartments. Property management is complicated. I'll simplify it for you. There's more competition than ever before. I'm gonna show you how to be number one. All of a sudden, your career, it's gonna make perfect sense even if you've never worked in sales or property management before. And for the advanced property manager, I'm gonna show you how to take things to the next level. Leasing University is a new, simple, step-by-step -step process that's effective. We're gonna help you become a rock star in property management. I'm Matt Easton, and this is Leasing University.